Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will try to simplify rational algebra expressions. In here in the Philippines, this one is under grade 8 mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here six different examples in which we were going to simplify each expression. So in number one, we are given 81 x raised to the fifth power over 27 x raised to the third power. Now, there are two things you need to remember or you need to do in simplifying this kind of expression. First, you need to simplify the numbers. Second, you need to simplify the variables. Here, in 81 and 27, you need to think, what is their GCF? The GCF of 81 and 27 is definitely 27. So how many 27s do we have in 81? Okay, very good. We have 3. In this one, we only have 1 27 in 27. Now, as you can see, the answer is 3. Now, what about the variable? For the variable, you have x raised to the fifth power over x raised to the third power. You need to copy the variable and then subtract exponents 5 minus 3. As you can see, the correct answer here is 3x raised to the second power. Here's the answer number 1. Now let's move on to item number 2. We have we are given 6n minus 3 over 15n plus 30. Now this one is different from number 1. First you need to do factorings here. In the numerator, we can factor it out as 3 times 3 divided, uh, 6n divided by 3 is 2n, then minus 1 over. Factor this out. This is 15 times 15n okay, plus 2. Now, as you can see, do we have something to simplify here? Meron. Here in 3 and 15, we can simplify this one to become 1. Then your 15 will become 5. So the simplified form of this one is simply 2n minus 1 over 5 times n plus 2. So this is the final answer. By the way, some other teachers will require you to multiply this one. But in my case, I will... Um, express this one as factors para makita ko if the expressions are already simplified. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, factor out 7x plus 49. Their common factor is 7. So that is 7 times x plus 7. And for the denominator, as you can see, this one is a perfect square trinomial. So that is x plus 7 squared, or para mas makita nyo, gawin natin x plus 7 na rin. As you can see, meron tayong common sa numerator and sa ating denominator. We can see, simply cancel this out and cancel this out. So what we have now is 7 over x plus 7. By the way, we cannot eliminate 7 and 7 because this one is separated by addition. Let's go with number 4. For number 4, same thing we need to do. So if makakita kayong trinomial or binomial, you need to think that, ah, maybe we can factor it out. So m squared minus, uh, plus 3m minus 70. What you need here is to think about the factors of negative 70 that will give you positive 3. So what are the factors of negative 70? Let's do natin. Ah, sige, meron na palang naisip. The factors are um, negative 7 times 10. Negative 7 times 10 is equal to negative 70. Then, negative 7 plus 10 is equal to positive 3. So, nakuha natin to. So, the factors are x, ah, oh, sorry, 
this is I will adjust the paper m minus 7 times m plus 10 so kita po ba? okay so as you can see guys meron tayo dito over m minus 7 by the way sometimes uh, you can use the idea or the information in the denominator meron na tayong clue kasi syempre hindi naman sila magbibigay sa atin ng problem na hindi natin ma simplify di ba commonly kailangan natin simplify so ito yung magiging clue natin in, his, in this case we can eliminate this one and this one magiging 1 na lang to so what we have here is m plus, m plus 10 over 1 so we can say na the answer or the simplified form is m plus 10 now let's move on with two more examples here for number 5 we are given k squared minus 12k plus 32 over k squared minus 64. In our numerator, we need to think of the factors of 32 in which it will give us negative 12. Now, ito yun. Since this one is positive and ito yung negative, ang factors na kailangan natin dito are both negative because negative times negative is positive. And then negative plus negative is negative. So what are the factors of 32? The factors are k minus 8 tapos k minus 4. Okay? Negative 8 times negative 4 is positive 32. Negative 8 plus negative 4 is negative 12. Over. Ito, difference of two squares. k minus 8 times k plus 8. As you can see, we have common. Eliminate this one. Eliminate this one. And the final answer is k minus 4 over k plus 8. This is the answer, guys. Now, what about our numerator? For the numerator, we have para paras na isa numerator. So, factor mo na natin yung bilang a times a squared plus a minus 42 over dito naman look at the coefficients lahat sila divisible by 7 so pwede natin factor ng 7 7 times a squared plus 9a plus this is 14 ngayon ang kailangan natin factor yung dalawang trinomials now we have a times itong factors ito, sure ako. Um, kasi kailangan natin makuha ng positive 1 dito. Negative 6 and positive 7. So that is a plus 7 times a minus 6 over 7 times. This one, 14, factors of 14 that will give you the sum of 9. That is a plus 7 times a plus 2. As you can see, ito yung common. Cancel, cancel. Meron tayo ngayong a times a minus 6 over 7 times a plus 2. And that's it guys. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to simplify rational algebra expressions. If you have any question or request a topic, please comment down below and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!